In the meantime, organizers of the world's largest three-on-three -three tournament say Hoopfest has been postponed until at least late August. Thousands of people that it takes to bring to Spokane. It's driving a huge spike, of course, into Spokane's economy. But now some businesses say there are some even bigger concerns around these new changes. Krem 2's Shana Waltower brings us more on the impact. Yeah, we're talking postponing one of Spokane's biggest annual events. Leaders say that new date will be August 22nd and 23rd. That leaves a lot of disappointed players and fans, but also businesses that rely on that extra income. Keeps the, keeps the register running too. This year would mark 31 years of basketball in the streets of downtown Spokane. But safety precautions around social distancing have made the promise of hoops and themed t-shirts a bit uncertain. It's just really hard to replan some of these big events, and that's a big event. Mayor Nadine Woodward and Spokane Health leaders say the decision to postpone Hoop Fest was wise. Managing coronavirus cases would be much more difficult with thousands of people coming into the city at once. I think by pushing it out, that gives people hope that we will be in a place where we can have it by the end of August, but nobody knows for sure. Meaning the millions of dollars the event brings in could also see some changes. Their courts are right behind me here on the street. Mark Stark uh, is the days. owner of David's Pizza downtown. He says he's concerned the same amount of people won't want to attend this year due to health concerns or guidelines. It's our biggest business days is when Hoop Fest is played. So they're not only a huge, uh, Part of the reason that David's is in business, but you know, the whole downtown core and actually all of Spokane relies on Hoopfest. He says hearing about the event getting postponed makes him hope it won't later get canceled. Just one more thing I don't want to think about during this pandemic is losing Hoopfest. In Spokane, Shana Waltower, Crem 2 News. So our sports director, Brenna Green, is joining us now with a little bit more on what Hoopfest 2020 could look like in August. Yeah, a few weeks ago, I talked to Matt Santangelo when the end of August date was originally proposed. We talked about the changes that Hoopfest would undergo if the event were held in August. One of the biggest ones was that this year Hoopfest was planning on having Center Court be in the pavilion, but there is a concert scheduled to be at the pavilion on August 21st, so now Center Court will be moved. The reason why Hoopfest Hoop picked the weekend of August 22nd is because it's one of the last weekends that doesn't conflict with the start of school if school starts on time. Obviously, it's hard to plan for what Mother Nature or coronavirus may bring for us during that time of year, but throughout the call, Santangelo reiterated to me that health and safety is his first priority. He also reiterated that Hoopfest 2020 will happen in some way, shape or form. He wants Hoopfest to be a beacon for this community. We want Hoopfest to be that light at the end of this dark tunnel of like, hey, we can look forward to this. This is something where we need to reconnect as a community. Like we're starving for that connection right now because we're all stuck at home. And that in you know, Hoopfest could be that, hey, we're healthy, it's safe, and we can be confident about coming back out. And that's what we want Hoopfest to be that, uh, you know, that bridge back to a little bit of normalcy. We'll be talking more with Matt tomorrow, so look for more updates then.